I remember like uh, I think it was it may have been Domino's Pizza like they had the most amazing guest checkout and I liked it so much I signed up for an account and that to me was like right they've not tricked me but they've enticed me because I've so liked the way that it was easy just to get and people don't think about uh, pizza places it, yeah I mean Domino's is known for from the second you start the process to like and they get your payment they tell you exactly where the pizza yeah, is yeah yeah that, and that's you amazing know, the, cook is putting it in the oven it's they're boxing your pizza it's out for delivery they're five minutes away it's at your door you know what i mean it's just like this like real-time update experience you know exactly where your pizza is but it's a form of it is a form of e-commerce site if you you think about the if e-commerce site someone who's just making a transaction buying a product or service i think that they were like to me pioneers of how you do it correctly and obviously stuff like uber eats which you wouldn't think as an e-commerce site in a sense but they've mastered the experience and like of how you can buy something and i think that's where the innovation always seems to happen outside of the industry um you think that taxi companies should have had the perfect billing experience they've been doing it for years it took people who had no knowledge on the core business of driving a cab to completely disrupt the whole industry and i think Amazon as well. It's like Amazon was just selling books, but now they sell everything as as a storefront. So I think going back to your original question, um, it's just make the what what always write down on a whiteboard, sticky paper, whatever. What is it that you're actually trying to get people to do? Forget everything else. What is the main focus? And then look at your site and say, right, is this thing actually being achieved? Like, can people just buy stuff? And it, and it seems obvious, but you know the, the challenge that a lot of companies have and agencies is um, there's a lot of bureaucracy and organisation that gets in the way. It's like we need this part of the site. It's like no, no, you will need to sell stuff. <laughs> so how and make that experience so delightful that people will remember your website and automatically think, right, I want to buy flowers. This is the site I want to go to. Or yeah, 